Hello everyone, so in this particular video we are going to see about the lead and lag function in a SQL. In previous video we have covered the row number rank and the dance rank. Now we are going to continue over the windows function and we are going to see about the lead and lag function in a SQL. And this is one of the most important interview question also whenever you will appear for interview they will ask about whether you know about the windows function and or not. So in uh, previous video we have covered the row number rank and the dance rank. In this video we are going to see about the lead and lag function. Okay. So let us try to understand what is lag. Lag we generally use in a high level we can see whenever you have to find out the previous value from the particular column you will go for the lag. Whenever you have to find out the next value from the particular column you will go for the lead. Let us try to understand with the example so that we will be having a better understanding. Okay. For taking example, so in this particular uh, table you can see I have a three column, I have a year, I have a quarter and I have a sales. So I have a data for the 2020 and 2021 and uh, for 2020 first quarter we had a 20 million sales. Similarly for the 2020 quarter second we had a 25 million sales. Similarly for the 1, 2, 3, 4 quarter. Similarly for the 2021 also for the 1, 2, 3, 4 quarter we had a this much sales. Okay. So this is my table which is available. Now what interviewer will ask you? You have to calculate the this one. Okay. First let us try to see this first four column. Okay. Then we will move further. Okay. Now you can see this is the output we want. Okay. How actually we can get this output. Now if you will see year, quarter and sales are as it is whatever the table we have. Now the fourth is the previous sales. How actually we can calculate the previous sales. Okay. Uh, so if you will see uh, the 2020 the quarter one we had a 20 million sales. What is the previous sales from this quarter? We don't have any data right. So we will show zero. Okay. 2020 quarter 2 we had a 25 million sales what is the previous sales before this quarter that is a 20 million right so output we are showing the 20 million 2020 quarter 3 we had a 30 million sales what is the previous sales from this particular quarter 25 million right so in a previous sales we are showing the 25 million means the previous values we have to you have to source previous sales value you have to show in this particular column so that is the requirement and that is what actually we want to solve it how actually we can do uh, that actually we will see okay so whenever you have a requirement where, where actually you want to solve the previous sales okay then you will go for the lag function now this is another uh, column I, I, here we are showing the next sales next sales means um, uh, the 20, 20 million sales we have right for this 2020 quarter one what is the next value 25 million okay so output we are showing the 25 million okay what is the next value of this quarter to 25 million we had a 30 million right so 30 million we are showing okay so what you whatever the next value from this particular says that actually we are showing here okay now if you can see after 45 million right we don't have any value so we are showing the zero okay so that is the requirement so whenever you want to find out the previous sales from the particular sales you will go for the lag function whenever you want to find out the next sales from the particular sales you will go for the lead function okay now let us see how actually we can do that okay so what i have done i have created one sales table now in this particular sales table i have a year quarter and the sales like you can see the same value 2020 2021 and the quarter and the sales value now first we are going to see how actually we can use a lag lag okay the so syntax select okay star means i will select all the column comma now we have to calculate the previous sales right so for that we will use lag okay and the what uh, on which particular column we want to find out the previous sales the sales column name is sales right so i will write sales okay and after that over okay and after that we will write order y okay first i want to sort the data right so that the in particular way it will be happen so how actually i want to sort i want to sort the year and the quarter together okay based on the ascending order so i will write order by year as well as the quarter okay so what i am doing based on the ascending order of the year and the quarter i am actually sorting it okay and i have written the lag sales over order by year and quarter i will give name as a previous salary previous sales or something okay from sales table okay so what is the syntax i have written 
select star star is for the selecting all the column after that to calculate the previous is what i have written lag and the sales sales is nothing but a column okay what is the previous value you want to calculate from which particular column so that is the sales column right so i will write the sales after that over after that i am doing a sorting i am doing a sorting based on the year and the quarter okay and the previous sales from the sales table now if i will execute now you will be able to see the output okay now here you can see 2020 quarter 1 20 million sales okay after that it is showing null because before this we don't have any value right so that's why it is considering the null okay now let us see for the second 25 million in the quarter 2 what is the previous sales 20 million so that is the output we are showing into the previous sale now we'll see for the third 30 million what is the previous sale 25 million so that actually we are showing here okay so that is how whenever you want to calculate the uh, previous sales previous value you will go for the lag function now you can see here actually it is coming null okay so what actually you can write okay uh, now here one by one okay what is the previous sales one by one actually it is calculating okay so if you are by default it is considering the only the one step okay one steps only okay what is the previous value of this quarter to the 20 million right so uh, only the the previous value only the uh, minus one previous value only it is showing okay now suppose you will change it to the two okay you are not mentioning anything means here it is considering as a one okay if you will apply two now let us see what will be the output you will get okay here you will get the two okay now if you will see for the third okay 30 million what is the two previous value the two previous value is the 20 million right it is not showing the previous value it is like the previous to previous value okay because we have given the two okay if you will not mention anything it will by default consider one if you will mention the two the two step it will consider okay so we will go with the one only now if i will show you the output this will give me the previous value okay now we want to change this null okay so if you will not mention anything it will consider the null if you will mention the zero the null will get converted into the zero only okay because before this 20 million we don't have any data right so it will show the zero so what i have written select star for all the column lag and the column name by default the step size is 1 and uh, for the null i am considering as a zero if null is there i will take as zero over order by the year and the quarter previous sales from the sales so that is the thing okay for the lag now we will see how actually we can use the lead lead we generally use it for the next value right so how actually we can write select star instead of the lag we will write lead sales similarly 10 okay and the same thing order by year and the quarter from the sales okay the same thing only instead of the lag we are using the lead now if i will show you the output uh, we will give this name as a next next sale okay because we are using a lead right now if i will show you the output okay for you will see for the first 2020 quarter 1 20 million what is the next sale of this uh, 20 million 25 million right so that is the output we are getting what is the next value of this 25 million 30 million that is the output we are showing here okay so the next value only it is showing here so if you want to calculate the previous value you will go for the lag if you want to calculate the next sales you will go for the lead okay now third is like cumulative sum third is like a cumulative sum that is also important okay now for taking example suppose you have a requirement okay where you want to do some this is the 20 right 20 plus 25 45 okay so first you will show 20 million okay in the next what next what you will show 20 plus 25 million 45 million here you will show now in the third case what you will do 20 plus 25 plus 30 so 75 you will show in the next what you will do 75 plus 30 105 you will show means you will do a cumulative sum how actually we can calculate that select sum sales okay over same condition same condition order by year quarter and we will write total sales from the sales okay now if i will execute this you will see after over we have to write the bracket okay now if i will execute you can see 
I will mention the star also. Okay. Now, if I will execute, you can see the total sales. First, the 20 million, 20 million plus 25 million, 45 million, 45 million plus 30 million, 75 million. Like this, it is doing the sum. So that is for the total sales. Okay. Now, if you want to show it all together, okay. Okay, all the column you want to show it together. How actually you can write the same thing? Select lag. Okay, the previous is okay. After that, what you will write? I also want to calculate the next sales, so I will write the comma. I will write the lead, lead, and the next sales, comma and the sum sales for the total sales sum of sales for the total sales ok if if you will combine this all two and if you will now execute this you will get the all the column like year quarter sales previous sales next sales and the total sales so this is how actually we calculate i hope you got it that's it in this video thank you